Well, guys, I have another busy day. Another busy day and lists of stuff to do. So, making my daughter breakfast, making her some eggs, and she wants corned beef hash, but she wants it in the microwave. Who makes corned beef hash in the microwave? Mine has to be crispy. So, gotta get making her breakfast. She's gotta go to work. I got a sink full of dishes, but my house is pretty much clean still. Just gotta vacuum and take this trash out and let the dogs out. Come on. I think Magnum's out here still. Magnum, you out here? Oh yeah, there he is over there. He's behind the tree. Magnum! I hope he's behind the tree. Let's go see. <laughs> now that I see that. Oh, there he is. What were you doing back there? Hey, what were you doing back there? Bad puppy. Oh, that's why I don't get nothing done. Yeah. I gotta go to the church in town, reserve a room for our family Christmas party. I've got to do laundry. I've gotta go to the vet, pick up heartworm meds for Kitten because I forgot to get his. So, and my butter's about to burn, so I better hurry up and do this. So, you guys will have to tell me if you haven't noticed, I've been kind of um, trying to do videos where. I'm showing kind of a little bit about of what I do too because a lot of people always comment that they don't know how I can handle five dogs. <laughs> that, that I have time for five dogs and it definitely is a, hold on, let me put some salt and pepper on my eggs. Um, it's a balance and it's a lot of work, let me tell you, to have five dogs two kids and a husband um, to take care of. And no, I don't always make my daughter, my 21 year old daughter's breakfast, but she asked me to cause she's running late. So I said, sure, why not? I don't have nothing else to do. <laughs> so I think our corned beef hash is done. Finish these eggs up and then I gotta get myself ready because I got a lot to do today. Let's see. Take these off the heat. We'll finish over there. Um, I have dogs going nuts out here. A couple on the back of the couch. Oh, one. One chewing a bone, two rustling, and one, to wonder, one wondering what I'm doing. Yeah, so. <laughs> What do I have to do today? I have to go to the church and reserve it for our Christmas party. I gotta pick up Kitten's heartworm. I have to clean out my fridge. I have to do laundry. I have to pick up my son's meds. I have to mow the lawn. And because he's, um, he had to go to the dentist this morning at 8.30. He's getting a crown on a tooth and he doesn't feel well <laughs> now. Um, so usually he mows the lawn. So I told him I'd mow the lawn. I have to tidy up the house and dinner is going to be kielbasa. Oh goodness guys, I get this fresh kielbasa from um, this, it's about a 40 minute drive to get it and it's so good. And then I make it scalloped potatoes with it. So, and then I want to go to the store and buy a misting bottle. It's not a spray bottle, it actually makes a mist. I saw it at my um, hairdressers, the guy next to me was using it and it just makes this fine mist and I thought it would be great for... Um, when I'm trying to wet down the dog's beards when they have crazy firecracker beard. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Sally Beauty Supply. That's where he got it. So I'm going to go get, I want to go get one of those and I've got to get some more, um, quick stop. It's stuff you use, um, when you're cutting your dog's nail, if you accidentally hit the quick, you, it's a powder and you dip their toenail in it and it helps stop the, um, bleeding so and i've only had to use it one time years ago when i first started clipping their nails on max one nail i accidentally hit it and it bled forever and this stuff works and i just want to get a fresh bottle because i don't know if it stops working or you know so i just want to get a fresh bottle to have on hand especially with magnum with his uh wiggleness so yes that is my day today 
and to take care of dogs and make sure I'm home and stuff to feed them during their feeding times. So as you can see in my planner, I don't plan out my whole week like some people do, unless there's like specific appointments and like I got to do um, dog's heartworm tomorrow. And like I don't have nothing for next week. And I'll put down, I have a hair appointment and then my son has to go back to the dentist. I plan out my day, day by day. <laughs> That's how I handle things, day by day. That's all you can do, guys, to get one step at a time, right? Okay, I gotta get my daughter her uh, breakfast and get myself ready. Okay, they're eating their lunch and I got tidy the house up done so I still have to go to the church. I still have to pick up the heartworm but my vet doesn't open back up till 2 and it's 1.12 so I've still got to do laundry. Ugh. <laughs> still mow the lawn but I could do that later today if I have to. Still pick up my son's meds. And I've also thought of some other things. I need to put up the emergency, emergency, 
sticker. I got one. Um, let me show you. I got one at PetSmart. I didn't go to the fire department. I should have went and probably could have got it for free. Um, but I got, I don't have the, uh, here we go. They're like a window clean. Um, and then you mark how many animals you have. And then there's a little line. I was thinking about putting that they're in crates in the bedroom because if no one's home or if we're sleeping and God forbid it's a fire and we get overtaken by smoke, um, they're always in their crates in our bedroom. So I was thinking about writing in crates back bedroom, but is that too much information to put to where someone who's just coming to my door would know. I don't know. I don't know what to do yet. So, thinking about how I'm going to fill that out. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I, I, I want to do that today. Put those on. I'm thinking about putting one on the front window, or uh, the front door, or in the front window. Um, I was thinking about putting it on the glass, on the front door or putting it on the front window. Not sure yet, I'm gonna talk to my husband. And then I was thinking about putting one. You already done? You already done? You two always get done so fast. Yes, you're pigs. Um, uh, Marley, he might not be done. You wait, and then you can sniff his bowl. I think he's done. He always leaves a little crumbs in there. Um, and then I was thinking about putting one on the window in the bedroom that they're in. So I'll have to talk to my husband about that. So anyway, so I want to do that. And there was something else I was thinking. Oh, I've got to iron my new curtains that I hung up in my bedroom. I still have to do that. So I don't know. I'll put it on the list. And then if I don't um, get to it, I'll just add it to my list for tomorrow. So because ironing the curtains isn't top priority for me. <laughs> So, and I need to have time to, I've also got to walk dogs later. So I've also got to have time for that. So I have to prioritize what's the most important in my day so that I can fit in the stuff, playing with the dogs and, um, getting their walks in tonight. Because now that we have another dog, I usually walk Miggy and Marley first. We're thinking about changing that to Miggy and Magnum because I walk Magnum with Miggy because they're buds. And it helps Magnum um, move along. So I think it's going to be Miggy Magnum first. And we go around. It's almost a mile walk. And then it's going to be Max and Mozzie. They always walk together. And then I think I'll do Miggy and Marley. So we get almost a three mile walk in a day. As long as we go every day. So um, he's doing really good with his walks. Are you ready to go out? Magnum. Are you ready to go out now? Okay, um, he still barks a little bit. No, he's not as bad. He's doing good. And he, he'll whine on his walk. Like, he's not sure what's going on. So he does a little whine. And Miggy used to do that too. But he's getting a lot better. A lot better on his walks. So maybe I'll videotape a little bit of our walks. So, alright. I gotta get on my list. <laughs>